just in case you're a bit behind. This is the same table again. I'm just just copied it because I'm going to have room on my page for everything. Okay, so given. Now, this is a really important word in conditional probability is given. Given that the job is urgent, so we know that it's urgent, what is the probability that it is large? And the way you write it is you say, what's the probability that it's large given, and it's that vertical line, that it's urgent? And it's actually the probability that it's large and urgent over the probability that it's urgent. So what you, you can do it 200 divided by 750 because the probability of large and urgent is 200 over 350. It's what we just worked out before. Over the probability that it's urgent, which is the 350 over the 250. And in fact, those 750s cancel out and you end up with 0.57. In fact, and I'm going to show you in a minute, there's a much easier way to do this. This is the rigorous way to do it, which you will abandon as soon as you finish this lecture, I'm sure, and go and do it the easy way. Okay, given the job, that a job is large, what is the probability that it's urgent? And look, that looks as if it's the same thing, but it's not. And in fact, these are often look as if they're written the wrong way round. So it's saying, what's the probability that it's urgent, given that we know that it's large? And so we do the same thing. Okay, now I'll do my easy way, which is here. We know that it's large, so this one here. So we're only interested in, so we're only interested in the large jobs. So we actually, once we know it's large, we can abandon those other two lines altogether. We're only interested in this line here. So that means that given that it's large, we can put 300 on the bottom. And given that it's large, how many are urgent? So we just look at this line and we see that 200 of them are urgent. So it becomes 200, so 200 over 300, which is 0.67, which is exactly the same answer as we got there, but it's just easier by not bothering about the bits on the bottom all the way through. So do I have some more of these? Yes, I do. Okay. So, and in the printer example, the probability of the job being urgent is different depending on whether the job is large or small. Let's have a look at this again. So, right at the beginning, we said, what was the probability that it was urgent was 0.47. But then we want to know, what's the probability, if we know that it's large, what's the probability that it's urgent? Well, it's 0.67. So, it's different. If it had been the same, we would say that those two things were independent, but it isn't the same, it's different. And so we know that the probability of a job being urgent is different depending on whether the job is large or small. Thus the two events, job is urgent and job is large, are not independent. That's the whole key to independence. And so if, you say, if I ask you, um, what's the probability that a job is urgent? And if you say, well, it depends on whether it's a large job or a small job, then that means that we don't have independence, that it is dependent.